So we want to determine whether this series is convergent or divergent. We see this cosine term and we may think this is alternating because we know cosine goes negative 1 to 1 to negative 1 to 1. But let's look at this just a little bit. So the first term would be cosine of 1 over 1 squared and that is positive. The second term would be cosine 2 over 2 squared, and that's actually negative. The third term is cosine 3 over 3 squared, and that's also negative. And so it's not an alternating series, but we can still consider what would happen if we took the absolute value and we could put it just on the cosine because we know that the n squared is always positive. Let's consider the convergence of this series, the absolute value of the terms in this series. Well, I can see that those terms are always going to be less than or equal to 1 over n squared because the largest that cosine will ever be is 1. And so I can put this 1 over n squared as a bound and this is a convergent p-series with p equaling 2 and since all of the terms of the series we're looking at are less than or equal to this by the comparison test this series is convergent and therefore we have absolute convergence since the absolute value of the terms in the series converged and absolute convergence implies convergence. So this original series is also convergent.